Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Giles here. And today we're going to be continuing with our phase four phonics. Um, so first we're going to start with our sounds um, and then we'll move on to um, the rest of the slides. So if you know the sound, please say along with me. Um, if you're not sure that's absolutely fine, I'll say it first and then you can say it after. And we've got a mixture of phase four blends and phase three digraphs and trigraphs. Okay, let's go. So, uh, and I, R, O. Ink. Air. Ant. Ow. Burr. Or. Oop. Cur. Ear. Uh. Kst. Your. Der. Boy. Or, uh. Well done, everybody. And now we're going to be moving on to finding out what our sound of the day is. Now, remember, we're doing our phase four blends. So we're pushing those two sounds that we already know together and saying it as one sound, one blend. So today we've got s and p makes sp. Can you say sp? Well done, fantastic. Okay. Let's move on then to practice writing our blend. Can you dip your paint, your brush even, <laughs> into blue paint? And we're going to trace the sounds on the board. So we're going to start with the s part. We go lead in and slither down the snake. And then the p, 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 in, up, down the pirate flat and around his face. Okay, let's write it on our forehead. Lead in, slither down the snake. Lead in, up, down the pirate's flat and around his face. Can you write it on the window? Lead in. Slither down the snake, lead in, up, down the pirate's flat and around his face. And instead of doing it on our friend's back, can you write it on the floor? Lead in and slither down the snake, lead in, up, down the pirate's flat and around his face. Excellent precursive writing, guys. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to move on to finding the odd one out. So let's go through the pictures. First one we've got is a frog. Then underneath we've got a spear. Then we've got oh, a spill. Then we've got a spoon. And then some people at the top there playing lots of sports. So which picture, which word does not start with the sp? Blend. I'll give you a moment. Okay, let's have a look then. Which one is the odd one out? Absolutely correct. It is the frog. The frog. Frog starts with the fur blend and er together making fur. Frog. 
Well done if you spotted that. Let's move on then to sounding out our words. So we're going to segment the words and then we're going to blend them together to read the word. So we're going to segment the sounds in the word using our robot arms to help us. And then we can clap when we blend the word together. Okay, let's do it together then. Sp -i -o. Sp -i -o. Sp -i -o. Spill. Spill. Well done. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Done. Spit. Okay. Next word. Speed. 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 Fantastic blending, guys. Let's keep going. Next one. Spend. Spend. And spend, spend. Excellent. The next one. Sp -ot -e. Sp -ot -e. Sp -ot -e. Spotty. And I bet you're thinking, hmm, that sound on the end, we know that is the E sound. However, some words, and they're just trying to trick us, some words do have that um, grapheme on the end, but the sound is a little bit different. The sound on this word is E, okay? Spotty. So well done if you spotted that. Okay, let's go to our phoneme count. So we're going to count how many sounds are in the word. We're going to remember that we're learning the sp blend this morning, so we're going to count that as one sound. Okay? So let's do the first one together. So let's segment it. Sp -i -n, spin. Okay, let's think about how many sounds, how many phonemes we can see in this word. Sp is one. I. And then n. Spin. So there are three phonemes, three sounds in this word word. Well done if you spotted that. Okay, let's move on to the next one then. You're going to have a go on your own now. Can you find out how many phonemes, how many sounds are in this word? Okay, so we've got sp or sport. Let's have a look. Sp or sport. There are three phonemes, three sounds in this word. Well done if you spotted that digraph in the middle there. So or digraph. And the t is its single sound on its own there. Okay, let's go on to the next one then. Let's segment this together. Sp er Spring. How many phonemes, how many sounds are in this word? I'll give you a moment. Okay, let's do it together. Sp er I and then N. Well, then if you spotted that digraph on the end, the ng sound, that's excellent. So there are four phonemes, four sounds in this word spring. Okay, now we're going to go on to phoneme spotter. So we're going to do some echo reading. So I'm going to read the first sentence and then you're going to echo read after. And then we're going to spot the sp blend in one of the words. Okay, so my best friend is Spanish. Your turn. Excellent echo reading, guys. So, can you find the word that contains the sp blend? And if you spot it really quickly, 
Can you have a go at reading the word? I'll give you a moment. Okay, let's have a look. Absolutely correct. Splend is in the word Spanish. My friend, my best friend is Spanish. Okay, next sentence. Daphne watched a spooky film on Friday. That's your turn. Okay, well done, guys. Can you spot D? blend in one of the words in this sentence and if you spot it really quickly you're going to read the word okay I'll give you a moment okay let's have a look absolutely correct the word is spooky and it's the blend you were spotting well done if you spotted that Let's go on to the next sentence. The spider spun a beautiful web. Your turn. Okay, now there are two words in the sentence that contain the sp blend. Can you find those words? If you find them really quickly, you need to read the words, have a good reading them. I'll give you a moment. Okay, let's have a look then. We've got spider and spun. Spider and spun both have the the, the sp blend start. The spider spun a beautiful web. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our writing. So you're going to need a pen and a piece of paper or a pencil. And I'm going to show you the words. So we're going to look at three words today. But you can challenge yourself and have a go at writing all of the words. Now remember, if you need help with the words, you can um, rewind the video a little bit to have a look at the words. But I am going to challenge you and I am going to remove the words once you've had a look at them, okay? So firstly then, on the ladybird, the ladybird has lots of spots. Or one spot. 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 And then we've got a spear at the bottom there, bottom left. Ear, spear, and then that glass is the glass is being knocked over there, and there's going to be a spill, spittle, spill, and then um, the bottom right there we've got a spoon, sp -oo -n, spoon, and then the top right there got people playing sport Sp or t sport so we're going to be writing three of those words today so I'm going to remove the words now there we go and the first word I'd like you to write is um, let's have a look let's go with spoon so what we're going to do is um, you're going to uh, pause the video and you're going to write the word spoon. So let's segment it together. So we should have sp -n spoon. So there are three phonemes, three sounds in that word. Okay. So can you pause the video now and write the word spoon? Okay. Welcome back, everybody. So we're writing the word spoon. So we've got the sp blended start, and then oo, the oo digraph, and then n at the end. So there are three phonemes. And well done if you remember to challenge yourself with those sound buttons. So you should have a line underneath sp, a line underneath the oo digraph, and then a dot underneath the n to show those sounds. Okay, so we're showing that we've got blends and digraphs in the word and also that single sound on its own. Okay, excellent. So, let me remove the words again. The next word you're going to write is the word sport. Okay, 
Okay, so let's segment it together. Sport. Sport. So please, can you pause the video now and write the word sport? Okay, welcome back everybody. So sport, we've got the blend to start, then we've got the or digraph, and then the t on the end of the word, the t phoneme. Okay, and well done if you challenge yourself to write those uh, sound buttons. So you should have a line under sp, a line under the or, and a dot underneath the t to show that single sound. Okay. Well done. Okay, the last word we're going to write today is the word spill. Okay, so I'm going to remove the word and we're going to segment it. Oops, Daisy, I just can't remove the word. There we go. We're going to segment it together. So we've got sp, i, and then all. And you need to remember the all is the digraph all. So there are two graphemes that are the same. Okay, the letter L. Need to write two of them because it's the digraph all. Okay, so can you pause the video now and write the word spill? Okay, welcome back everybody. So let's have a look at the word spill. We've got the sp blend to start, then i, and then all. Remembering that digraph all. And well done for challenging yourself. So you should have a line underneath the sp blend to show that sound. A dot under the i and another line under the all digraph to show that sound as well. So well done if you challenge yourself to write those sound buttons. Okay, now we're going to move on to our sentence writing today. <clears throat> so... We're going to write a sentence about the wizard. And notice you have the spelling of wizard at the top. Okay. W-I-Z-R-D. Wizard. Okay. So, there's three options then with sentence writing. The first option, which everybody needs to do first, is to write um, a sentence that I give you. Okay. The second option is to write the sentence and then use the connective and to extend your sentence. And then the third option then is to go back to those words and write different sentences using the words that we've just um, written, okay? So, the sentence I'm going to give you then, we're going to, I'm going to tell you the sentence, we're going to say it together, we're going to clap the sentence and then count how many words are in the sentence, okay? So, the wizard cast a spell. The wizard cast a spell. Okay, now you're going to... You're going to clap the sentence now, okay? And I'm going to count the words in the sentence. So, you ready? The wizard cast a spell. There are five words in that sentence, okay? You must have five words in that sentence. So always remember to reread your work and check it makes sense because if you can read it, then we can read it, okay? And check you've got those five words. The wizard cast a spell. Okay. second option then is to use the connective and. So you could say the wizard cast a spell and and you might say the wizard cast a spell and there was a flash of light. Okay so you can make up any um, part of the end part of that sentence okay. So you're using the connective and to extend that sentence and then obviously option three then you can then um, go back to the words that we've written today and challenge yourself by writing some sentences using those words. Now, can you tell somebody that's um, either in your household or near you 
there's a really important thing that we need to remember when writing a sentence. I'm going to give you a moment just to have a think and tell somebody you know those three or four even important things to remember when writing a sentence. I'll just give you a moment. Okay, so let's have a little discussion then. So, those three most important things, or four, even there's four actually, that we need to remember. So, we need to remember we have a capital letter to start the sentence. And then we must have a full stop to end our sentence. And then making sure that we have those finger spaces between those words. Remember, not the letters, the words. You need to have finger spaces uh, in between so that you can read the words. And you can check how many words you've got as well. And then also, really try your best with the precursive writing that we've been practicing. Okay? There's a few things to remember then when writing a sentence. Don't rush it. It's, it's not a race. Take your time and enjoy writing those sentences. Please send them in to hvaash at clf.uk or hvabeach at clf.uk and we can put them up onto our blog, which would be really lovely to show everybody else your amazing learning. Okay, thank you everybody and I will speak to you soon. Bye bye.